What's good, y'all? It's your boy KCB. It's finally getting nice outside, so we just hit up the corner store here. So, we got uh, Key Glock and Young Dolph dropping Dumb and Dumber 2 on March 26 here. So, I said, hey, you know, I love their music. They both got crazy bangers. You know, just the type of music I love. So, we're going to go ahead and make a, uh, make a beat for Key Glock and Young Dolph here. So, let's see what we're going to get into. Could you do me a favor and watch my stuff here? All right, y'all. So, we're going to jump right into this beat here. So, uh, yeah, we're going to make this beat for Key Glock and Young Dolph. As I mentioned before, they got Dumb and Dumber 2 dropping March 26th. So, go ahead and pre-order that. Uh, if you haven't heard the first one, Dumb and Dumber 1, check that out too, man. And it's got some crazy hits on there so i'm gonna go ahead and do this so for a beat for key glock and uh, young dolph some uh you know good instruments to use would be usually like um orchestral sounds like you can use some strings trumpets or you know live instruments even you can use samples of course um pianos you know always work with kind of everything so for this beat here i want to go ahead and use um some strings here like some yeah orchestral strings so we're just using the uh, labs plugin here just on the strings the short setting so we're gonna go ahead and use that and what I wanted to do um, for this beat is you know have a melody have kind of like a top melody and then like a um, something a little heavier kind of like for the bass uh, so with this one here sometimes when I make my melodies I'll try and like you know kind of hum it out a little bit usually if it's a melody you can kind of hum along too um, then it can do quite well and you know a lot of these big hits out have you know fairly simple melodies that you know everyone can kind of sing along with so for this one it, it was going to be like <laughs> something like that with these strings so I kind of hummed it out a little bit and then I uh, went ahead and just kind of plucked the notes in here we just added you know a simple EQ and a uh, delay on this just to kind of widen the sound a little bit um, so this is what we got here for for our strings let's give it a listen like that's a great start right there so you know i love uh yeah a simple little melody like this we're just gonna you know add to something like this here and so from there i just wanted kind of like a heavier you know piano in the back just dun, dun, dun. you know i wanted something like that that uh was just gonna go along with it and today for this one we're doing a d sharp minor scale um, we're doing 132 BPM. I mean, your BPM can range from as low as, you know, maybe around 120s up to, you know, probably 160, I'd say might be the highest I would do for something like this, but you can get pretty crazy with these beats. But yeah, we're doing 132 today. So we did that. We got our notes laid out there. So yeah, I just want to kind of like a deep piano next. So then we got our piano that we threw in here. So this is just going to be kind of like the, uh, Kind of like root notes, I guess you would say for this, but I just wanted, um, you know, our main note D sharp there, and then goes into another, it goes into uh, C sharp, and then back to D sharp, and then at the very end here, we just got a, a F note in there as well. So let's go ahead and uh, listen to this. So we got those two there, and so uh, both our melodies here, this is what we got together. So quite simple, but you know, it's got some space to it. And you know, that's um, just a good practice to, you know, make your melodies, but make sure there's still some space in there. Cause sometimes you can make a melody playing the whole way through and you know, there's just not a lot of space in it and uh, it gives the artist a little bit less to work with. So sometimes less is more, you know, so that's what we're doing on this one here. So we got those two, uh, you know, big thing, of course, with these beats are just hard drums, you know, um, 
like one of the producers, uh, I Am Band Play, you know, makes a lot of beats for Key Glock and Young Dolph. And I mean, they just, they go so hard, you know, I mean, between his drums and the melodies. Yeah, listen to some, uh, some of I Am Band Play's uh, beats and, you know, some of the songs he's made with them because that's like just the perfect style for him. They make such great music together. So we want to do that. So we're going to go ahead and hit the drums next. I wanted to do something still fairly simple um, with the drums, but I wanted to add just like some little things to the drums that will kind of spice it up a little bit. And one of those is, so we have our hi-hats here. So pretty much I just took just the regular two-step, right? So I took a regular two-step and then I put kind of where I wanted a little bit more variety in this beat. I took the same hat and then I reversed it on one part. So like, you know, just the, the part without that is just like, uh, it's like this here. So it's like we just took a little bit of space out and so what I did was I just took that same hat I duplicated it and then I reversed it and then I put um, the hat like I just kind of filled the rest of this pattern here with that reverse hat so that's a way you can just kind of sauce up um, yeah you could just kind of sauce up your track by pretty much yeah just reversing it so like let me give you all an example here of how that's gonna sound So see, I mean, it's just as simple as that, and it gives it, you know, just some spice, a little spice to it there. So that's what we want on some drums like this. And then, of course, we want, you know, a real hard kick. I would do, you know, you could do a, a short or a long kick, but I would just make sure that, you know, um, it hits. It's not, you know, kind of in between, like, low and high uh, frequencies. You know, you can mess with it. I usually EQ it a little bit, give it a little boost on it. So we got that on there. Um, then we just got a uh, kind of like our snare instead of a clap and then I went ahead and just kind of added um, a few other little things to it here like we got open hat we have kind of like a perk going on in this too here um, drum pattern I kept fairly simple like we got uh, you know fairly fairly easy just pretty basic uh, punch combo here so and then the 808 what I did was with the 808, I just pretty much copied where, um, pretty similar to where our pianos are going to hit. So that way, the piano hits, the 808 hits, and it's kind of going to go long and then draw it out a little bit there. So we got those going there. And then, yeah, I just kind of added, you know, just open hat in certain spots there. And then we got, um, let's see, we got another little perk here. We got... Yeah, just a little perk there too. So we got all that together. So let me go ahead and play these drums for you. So this is our uh, drum pattern. So yeah, I mean, that's, you know, another pattern that, you know, you put all these together and it's really kind of the simplicity of a beat like this where an artist can really just go off and do their thing on it. Uh, you know, I think a lot of us producers, I'm definitely guilty of it or, you know, making a beat that's so crazy. It's got, you know, five different melodies and all these perks hidden and the 808's doing a crazy pattern and all of that to where it's almost like a little bit too much. And some artists, um, they'll listen to be like that and be like, I, you know, I can't do as much with this as I could with a more simple beat like the one that we're making here. Uh, so yeah, this is really just going to showcase the uh, artist skills. So we got those there. We got that melody. So I wanted to go ahead and so when I piece this together here, uh, so yeah, we just kind of have like the hats going first with the melodies. Then it's going to get right into the main beat. And then I just made a little section here where we cut the hats off. We just have the kick and the snare going. Hats come back in. Then the 808 comes in. And then back into the uh, main part of the beat there. And what also what I wanted to do is I kind of wanted like the uh, like a little tape stop effect to go into back into the beat here. Um, so what we did was we just went put gross beat on our master channel. And then we 
um, you can right click here and then use uh, let's see da, 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 create automation clip so what we did was we created the automation clip you kind of just lowered all the way down and then you can kind of do this right here if you just do that right there that's going to let it um, kind of give it that tape stop effect so the beat will be playing and then it'll go right into that so let me give you guys a little example of how that's gonna sound <laughs> So normally right here, I would do reverse hat or something that kind of goes back into the main part of the beat, but a uh, effect like this is great um, to kind of give, you know, that separation and go back into the beat without, you know, using the same thing over again. So we got two of those there. We got one there. We got one here going back into it. So that's going to give some nice separation there to kind of, you know, make sure you know where like the hook or the verse might be for the artist. So you got those there. And then we're just kind of going right into the end where it's just going to be the kick in 808 and the melody playing. Um, with this one, we're just playing the melody the whole way through. I mean, you know, if you guys have seen my other videos, a lot of the other times, the other beats I make, I'll do like, you know, I'll have multiple melodies and then I'll kind of cut it off so only one or two are playing. But, you know, some of the great songs that Key Glock and uh, Young Dolph have made have just had one melody playing the whole way through. And there's just kind of some, you know, different sections with the drums there. So I want to go ahead and do that. So... You know, with this melody going through, uh, yeah, this kind of makes the beat how it is. So, yeah, man, I mean, this is uh, this is the type of beats I love right here. I mean, something simple, but still just super hard and really gives them the uh, opportunity to showcase their skills as they do. So let's go ahead and listen to this full beat here. We got it already, so let's see what we got. <laughs>
this is a heater right here, man. I love beats like this. And, you know, some of y'all might think, you know, this is too simple. There's not enough melodies in it or anything like that. And, um, I forgot who said this, but uh, a lot of producers have said this, I guess, before. I mean, I've heard it, you know, all around. But this is a good rule to go by. So, like, when I was making this beat, you know, I had it. I had all this playing. I was like, man, there's, like, just one thing missing you know it sounds like maybe there's one thing should i add one more little melody to it or do whatever well, a lot of times that one thing that could be missing is the artist on it so if you get to that point where it's like man it's like almost perfect but there's just one more thing i could add to it that's usually a good time to stop because you know once the artist is on there they have a little more space to work with and you know that's just a big gem right there is that that one little thing you might be missing in your beat is the artist so when you make beats you know you can go crazy with the beats of course um but yeah that's one thing to remember is that if you make that beat and you're like man what is that i need that one thing that one last instrument is the artist itself so just keep that in mind you're making these beats but yeah man so that's the beat for today so i hope y'all enjoyed i hope y'all like the beat i uh, hope y'all like the video hit that sub like comment all that there's gonna be a lot more videos on the way i did make one last week so i'm gonna try to crank two out this week for you guys uh just to catch up on that but i really appreciate you guys tuning in and uh you know follow me on this journey here so you know we're gonna keep it going so until next time y'all